Hey friends, I'm Ashley and you're watching The Substance Project, where we work to bring you more than makeup tutorials and fashion hauls every Wednesday. You guys, I'm in the Hamptons. This place is bananas. That's beside the point. This video is about lifestyle design and or personal development, AKA self-help. So today I'm just gonna share five books that I've listened to on Audible that are really interesting and have encouraged me to think differently and that might help you do the same and take a little bit more control and ownership over how you approach and plan your life. So I hear a lot from moms that they lose themselves after having kids, but I wholeheartedly disagree. I actually think since having my first child and then my second and working full time, I feel like I'm learning more about myself every day. And I'm more curious than ever and I have a renewed urgency to figure out like, who am I and does it line up with who I want to be for my kids, for my husband, for my family, for my friends, for myself and for the life that I'm planning. In that curiosity and that search, I've started to spend time digging into some authors and some researchers that focus on these topics. I love the term lifestyle design because I think it gets to the heart of making the most of the life that you have and, and really being intentional about planning out what it is you want from your life and how you're going to get it. Some people might call this self-study personal development. Some might even call it self-help. Self-help feels a little embarrassing, a little cringeworthy, a little hokey, a little commercialized. And I feel like that has something to do with a mental health stigma, but as Carrie Washington from Scandal put it, we go to the dentist twice a year, we go to the doctor annually, we go to the optometrist or the cardiologist. We spend time and resources looking out for the health of our bodies. Why not do the same looking out for the health of our minds, our spirits, and the way that our life is going? Most people spend more time planning for their vacation than they do planning their life. So if that rings true for you and you're curious about you know, how you can start to explore this topic, here are the five books that have been really interesting for me. So first author that I got into on recommendation from a friend was John Gordon. He's got a really, really easy book to listen to called The Energy Bus. It's basically a parable that brings to life 10 tips for managing your energy in a positive way. It was a little hokey, but it's super quick listen and it has some great tidbits. Because I liked the way that that book went, I went on to another book of his called The Seed, which is a little bit more focused on purpose and finding your purpose. Also a great listen. Second book, again on recommendation, thanks Nandini, is Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now. Wow, this is a heavy one. It blew my mind. It was a lot harder to listen to, but a lot more substantial. Definitely worth the time and effort and energy, though it does sort of go to the extreme end of the spectrum. Third recommendation, and this is my favorite right now, Third Time's a Charm, is Elizabeth Gilbert's Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. Now, Elizabeth Gilbert is the author of Eat, Pray, Love, and she has such a phenomenal approach to how to weave creativity into a very practical practical lifestyle. It resonated with me. It was inspiring. It made me smile. Definitely highly recommended. Fourth recommendation is The Way We're Working Isn't Working by Tony Schwartz. I am about three quarters of the way through this one and I love it. It's great application for the business world and really making me think about, am I approaching my work in the right way? And if I approached it in a different way, might that impact the time that I have to do other things that are important to me? Fifth recommendation, which I've talked about in another video, is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. If you're into this lifestyle design and this is you know, up your alley, definitely listen to, to The 4-Hour Workweek. It's a little bit more extreme, but definitely encourages you to think differently. Those are my five tips. Again, I've listened to all of them on Audible on my commute. Check out my other video on how to life hack your commute to make it more productive and enjoyable. If you like what you saw today, please give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing. We actually post new videos every Wednesday and we would love to see you back here. If you have recommendations of similar topics or research or books that you've listened to, please leave them below in the comments. I'd love more recommendations. I'm totally on a little trip right now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week.